In today's show, Bitcoin Bull, Anthony Pompliano reveals his new outlook on XRP and Ripple after interviewing Brad Garlinghouse, the CEO of Ripple, on his Off the Chain podcast. This was an awesome 90-minute episode. We're going to be recapping this in today's show. Also in today's show, Mr. Pompliano gets brutally roasted on crypto Twitter. Find out why? Well, he has these very optimistic Bitcoin predictions, as we all know, so we'll be sharing his latest tweets, followed by him being roasted by many people on Twitter, as you can see right here. And in today's show, we'll also be taking a look at the overall cryptocurrency market, as well as the Bitcoin price action and where we're expected to go from here. Find out this and so much more in today's episode. <music> Here at Crypto News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every day. Be sure to smash that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive notifications of the latest crypto news. And to celebrate the launch of our podcast, our sponsor, CMDX, the fastest growing health rewards cryptocurrency in the world, is giving away $25 worth of CMDX tokens absolutely free just for helping support the show. For full details, click the link right below this video in the description. Welcome back to another episode of Crypto News Alerts. I'm your host, JV, and in today's episode, we're going to be dissecting this exclusive interview between Anthony Pompliano and the CEO of Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse. And if you missed this podcast, I included it in the show notes in the description right below this video for you to check it out. Here's an overview of what went down during this interview. Bitcoin bull Anthony Pompliano is sharing his thoughts on the future of Ripple, XRP, and Bitcoin. At the end of the 90-minute interview with Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse, Pompliano says he thinks there's a couple of likely outcomes for the future of fintech. For starters, Pompliano says Ripple's mission is to help banks become more efficient makes a lot of sense. Here's what he said. I think I'm actually on the podcast on the record saying it's important to separate out the software company from XRP. I actually think that having software that makes banks run better, there's a big business to be built there. We've actually invested in a bunch of businesses that are trying to disrupt software that is currently in banks or helping banks be more efficient, that all makes a lot of sense to me. When it comes to XRP, Pompliano says he doesn't see why banks can eventually use Bitcoin instead of XRP to power cross-border payments. He went on to say, XRP, my only big thing that I just can't get over, and I understand the argument as to why, is if you could use XRP across the rails, why not use Bitcoin? Now I think your argument would be volatility, the fact you can't stop it, all those things. Garlinghouse quickly interjects saying it's a lot faster and a lot cheaper to use XRP. Pompliano then agrees that banks may turn to digital assets aside from Bitcoin. He went on to share, so what I end up coming to is there's probably many versions of the future, but two of those versions are what I call a corporate company creating a software product that has been sold in an enterprise model into banks, which is what you guys are doing. And there is likely to be something other than Bitcoin that is used. Whether that's XRP or somebody else comes along and creates something or it's Libra or whatever gets created. Pompliano's alternative vision of the future is one where Bitcoin becomes the dominant way to move money based primarily on what he calls fully decentralized nature of the leading cryptocurrency. And then he went on to share, the other world is a world of Bitcoin, which there will be people who build this stuff, but it's much more kind of empowering people fighting back against things like inflation, the banking system, yada, yada, yada. I really don't think what ends up being the most valuable is which path the world goes down. If we go down the path where we need something that is fully decentralized, non-censorable, non-seizable, I don't think Ripple and XRP will end up being the winner in that world and vice versa. If we go down a world where we need a corporate software company that sells into banks, etc., I actually don't think that Bitcoin can win in that world. As for Garlinghouse, he doesn't believe the world of digital assets will necessarily be winner take all. He says he's long Bitcoin and sees a world where both digital assets thrive and find their use case. There's an expression that I use sometimes at work, much to the frustration of Ripple employees. It's the tyranny of the or versus the power of the and. Why is it one of the other of those? I think one of the mistakes that people make in this border crypto world is that there's nothing going to be one winner. There's going to be a bunch of interesting winners. And I would even yield the point, is the XRP environment clearly going to be a winner? I think there's some interesting dynamics 
dynamics that make it more efficient in a whole bunch of ways. But I think at the end of the day, it comes back to are these technologies being used to solve a real problem for real customers in a scaled way? And there's the long ways to go in all of them. And if you want to check out the entire podcast interview between Anthony Pompliano and Brad Garlinghouse, once again, I included it below this video in the description under the show notes. Now taking a look at some of Anthony Pompliano's latest tweets, very optimistic on Bitcoin. He wrote, Bitcoin continues marching forward, block after block, completely immune to the manipulation of economies or political instability of nations. Bitcoin is doing exactly what it was designed to do. What a beautiful thing to witness. And here's another tweet. This one actually goes back a little bit, but here's what it says. Highlight, by the end of 2021, we'll see Bitcoin eclipse $100,000, says Anthony Pompliano. He says 20,000 is the next level to watch and also talks about Facebook Libra. And if you missed this exclusive interview between Anthony Pompliano and Yahoo, I'll be sure to include this resource in the show notes below this video in the description. All right, now let's check out some of the replies on crypto Twitter roasting Anthony Pompliano in response to some of his bullish tweets on Bitcoin. This person new in crypto wrote, you do realize there's no immunity. If I had 20,000 Bitcoin, I could manipulate it at will. In my opinion, it's not doing what it was made for. Luckily, it served as prototype for the real Bitcoin 2.0. I believe you heard talking about it's called XRP. Hmm. Very interesting comment. Let's take a look at what Alex had to share. Pretty much every line is a lie. Bitcoin was designed to be a peer-to-peer -peer electronic cash system, and that change of purpose to store value thing totally corrupted the purpose. What a sham. And here's what crypto... Egypt had to say, sorry, Pomp, I might agree with the nation's bit of your statement, completely immune to the manipulation of economies or political instability of nations, but manipulation of the market buy and politics of Bitcoin miners and Bitcoin whales is very worrying. And we'll take a look at a couple more. This person, Cody Fisher, wrote, if it's meant as a means of currency for exchange, something needs to be done about transaction times, seemingly. Been waiting almost an hour on a transfer to a merchant. Way, way, way too long. My credit card would have been processed in seconds. Seems too infantile to be mainstream yet. And this last one of Anthony getting roasted, this person replied saying, Pomp keeps marching forward, tweet after tweet, completely immune to rational debate about and never responding to Bitcoin's limitations. Pomp is doing exactly what his investment forces him to do. What a sad thing to witness. So what are your thoughts surrounding Anthony Pompliano being very bullish on Bitcoin? Do you join in with him getting roasted? Do you agree with some of these people have to say? I would love to know your feedback in the comments right down below. And taking a look at the overall cryptocurrency market, we can see most of the cryptos today, unfortunately, are in the red. Bitcoin down 0.14%, trading at $8,338. Ethereum down 1.1%, trading at $183. XRP is in the green, up 1.35%, trading at $0.27. Cents. EOS is in the green, up 1.28%, trading at $3.10. Miss Litecoin in the red, down 0.2%, trading at $56.11. BNB coin in the red, down 0.25%, trading at $16.86. Even Link is in the red today, down 2.35%, trading at $2.64. And taking a look at the overall crypto market cap, we can see it's currently $225 billion with $54 billion in volume in the past 24 hours with a Bitcoin dominance of 66.7%. And taking a look at the biggest gainers for the day, Nash Exchange leading the way, up 13.99%, trading at $1.15. The Central Land up 9.52%, trading at three cents. Sia coin is up 8%, trading at 0.002 cents. Jewel is up 7%, trading at 78 cents. Digibyte is up 5.9%, trading at about 0.008 cents. And Ravencoin up 5.53%, trading at 3.7 cents. And taking a look at the biggest losers for the day, Centrality down 10.4%, trading at 10 cents. Algorand is down 9%, trading at 24 cents. Seal is down 6.47% trading at about 5 cents. Bitcoin Diamond down 6.47% trading at about 49 cents. And Bitcoin down 6.26% trading at 0 
four cents. And taking a look at the BitMEX margins, we can see the bears are currently in control with about 56 million in superiority, leading the way with 52.49% shorts versus 47.51% longs. Are you bullish or bearish on Bitcoin? Let me know in the comments right down below. Well, that's going to conclude today's show. As always, I appreciate you tuning in, journeying with me through this crypto wormhole. If you haven't already, be sure to smash that subscribe button and click that bell icon to receive notifications of the latest crypto news. And before I go, I want to give a special thanks to our sponsor, CMDX, the fastest growing health rewards cryptocurrency in the world to celebrate the launch of our podcast. They're giving away $25 worth of CMDX tokens absolutely free just for helping support the show. For full details, check out the link right below this video in the description. I look forward to seeing you on tomorrow's episode. Peace.